Hello everyone, my name is Hossein Abdullah and welcome to my YouTube channel for the learning new tutorial. Today we want to talk about the V-Ray 6 in the 3D Max. As you know, the Chaos Group released the new V-Ray and we have a lot of new features. And now I want to talk about the new feature about the clouds in the sky. One of them in V-Ray Sun, just turn it down the cloud and you have a cloudy V-Ray sky and more realistic and amazing sky in the V-Ray. It's so easy and so fast to make a cloud in the sky. Let's find out how does it work. Hello everyone. In the V-Ray 6, we have a new feature about the V-Ray Sun and have a cloud in the sky. It's this amazing feature. And I want to talk about that now. Okay. Let's see the sense. I have a simple project, exterior project and the forest and ground for way for the going the car in behind the or in front of villa okay and now i want to lighting setup and make a cloud in the sky now a view of top i use the just very sun and put that here and target is here to ask would you like to automatically add the very sky environment yes i want and rise the very sun go up and I want use the V-Ray camera, V-Ray physical camera and put the C from my keyboard and let's test the rendering or interactive rendering. Now we have a, a beautiful sky but it's clear without cloud. And I want to put the cloud in sky to change the more realistic sky okay now just use the region just from the sky okay and i want to use the modify of the very sun here clouds just turn it on the clouds okay i turn it on and just rendering we have a, a beautiful cloud in the sky let's see see we have a cloud it's beautiful and in modify of very sun cloud we have uh, a lot of the setting about the clouds we have a density variety cyrus amount is the important the modify or setting about the cloud and we won't talk about that density when you change the 0.5 to rise to one you have a huge and big cloud in the sky let's see I change it and rise it to one. We can't uh, rise down more. Uh, rise down one. Just one. You can't use and rise to five. Just one. Zero to one. Okay. See, we have a huge and cloudy sense of the sky. When you want the cloudy sense, you should rise the density to one. And it's a beautiful I think. But it's not my idea. And I want to back to setting 0 0.5. Okay. And variety. We have it a little different between the density and variety. And I want to change it. Rise to 1. We have a more, more, more cloud in the sky but medium size or little size let's see see that we have a more cloud in the sky and it's so good we have a thickness here and I want to go to down and like uh, 50 millimeter see the cloud doesn't have any high thickness and default is 500 it's okay and now we know the density variety and thickness we have a cyrus amount and it, I think it's so good and I love it cyrus amount now I want to rise it to one let's see we, what we have in the sky it's make it amazing sky see it's so beautiful and variety 
go to free so beautiful it's okay I think I'm on we have offset X and I want change the cloud and Cyrus amount Cyrus cloud in here I want to change it the offset Y to 1500 see change the Cyrus and cloud and offset it to another place it's okay just like offset the simple offset and offset X is like that 2500 to change it everything is okay when you want to disappear the uh, huge cloud you should uh, change the hive you can rise to up or down and if you want to have a more cloud you should rise it or when you want to disappear that you should you should lower hive to down okay let's see 100 we can't 500 it's the lower count in the hive and you can go rise to up like a, I don't know 5000 we have a more cloud oh, I think oh, I don't know it's not good 1000 is I think it's okay and reset the X offset and Y offset I think it's better and we have a so so cloud and nice cloud in the sky and it's so amazing and more realistic in render that's amazing that's new future in the very six and I won't always use that. It's so amazing. It's okay. And thank you for watching us. Please leave a comment and like. And subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. I will see you again for a new tutorial. Thank you so much. Goodbye.